Good afternoon. I have managed to get myself inside <clears throat> the remarkable, the fascinating, the very private Clifton Street Cemetery in Belfast here. And the place is just coming down with history. Coming down with history. This is another sport just outside the cemetery here, and I've videoed this before. Um, but it's just, if you haven't seen that other video of mine, 1797. I'm just uh, running the camera down uh, slowly so you can actually read this by pausing it. There, there, there's yurts, yurts in here, there's Richie's in here, there's Andrew's in here, and there's just, there's just too many for me to even catalogue. And then, there's uh, the United Irishmen. Um, there's about four or five of them. And uh, these were Presbyterians, actually, who were founding members of the uh, United Irishmen. And you come across some uh, wee quirky graves here. Young moulders here. Isn't that good? And as well as being a graveyard, this, this is actually a wildlife sanctuary because I've heard so many different birds singing in here and I would recognise the names of, of these birds. And the rich and the famous of that particular time are buried in here. There's a, a, a reverence and doctors and, and, and all sorts in here. Reverend Andrew Art, uh, the well-to-do. of headings and plaques. And those uh, those folks who had no money and nowhere to bury them were buried in here as well. And this this stone here, erected in the middle of um, Clifton Street Cemetery, is laid there to remember and honour the women, men, women and children from the poor house. There are literally thousands of people in this sort of uh, mound area in the graveyard. They, as I said, the rich were buried alongside the poor and uh, these people just couldn't afford um, to have headstones or individual graves and it says in this ground lie the remains of several thousand poor they all had names and this top wall of the graveyard is significant too because the, this is a double wall and in between the two walls, the children of the poor house were buried. They, they, their parents obviously had no money to bury them, and they were put in between the two walls. And uh, that's where they ended up. So this is Clifton Street uh, Cemetery. Last burial, I think, that took place was 1995. And there's this top part of the cemetery, and then there's the lower part. And unfortunately, it has to be uh, kept locked because um, vandals and, and people would come in and just wreck the place. 
And this is the wall that separates the uh, top part of the cemetery with the bottom part. And if you want to get into a cemetery to have a wee Jeff Duke about the place, uh, you apply to, you, you ring the Belfast City Council and one of their wardens, one of their park wardens, will give you uh, uh, a key and you can get in. Or they'll, they'll let you in and then you ring them up to get yourself out again. Because uh, you never climb out of here. The walls are so high. As I so often say, You've got to come here and check it out for yourself. Wonderful place. So there you have it. There's my wee visit to um, Clifton Street Cemetery over and I must say I must say if the wind allows me to say it, that the staff from Belfast City Council have been more than helpful in uh, accommodating me here. Uh, the, all the guys like a big thank you uh, uh, people like Andy and Darren and uh, and David. Excellent job, thank you very much.